Hello and thank you for joining me for another phase three mastery phonics lesson. We're going to need a piece of lined paper and a pencil. Can you pause the video and get the resources you need and then click play when you're ready. We're going to begin by singing the alphabet song. This helps us to practice our letter names. Today we're going to sing the alphabet to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle but we're going to do it a little bit slower. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Can you see that I have circled four of the letters that we've just sung in our song? Can you tell me all of their letter names? Can you start from the bottom and go up to the top? The first one is X, then it's N, H, and right at the top, it's the letter E. We're going to recall our common exception words now. I'm going to show you a word and I would like you to tell me what it is as quickly as you can. Look out for those phonic clues, but also watch out for those tricky parts. Remember, if it's going too quickly, you can just pause the video, have some thinking time and then continue. Well done everyone. Let's recall our sounds. I'm going to show you a graphing, a letter written down, and I would like you to tell me the phoneme, the sound that it makes. Remember to do your actions as well. That helps us with our memory. We're ready to master another phase three sound today. Shall we see what it is? The letter name is Y and the phoneme, the sound, is Y. 
Can you practice? Y, y. Remember, we mustn't add a, add a schwa on the end. So it mustn't be y. It must be y, 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 y for yogurt. Can you think of any other words with the phoneme y in them? Pause the video and click play when you've thought of some. I thought of the orange bit in the middle of an egg. Do you know what that's called? A yolk and a yo-yo. Have you ever played with a yo-yo? We're ready to write this graphing now. Can you see that the belly of this letter is sitting on the line? We need to remember that today. Now this is a long ladder letter and this letter is so long that it does descend under the line. Can you see where the green dot is? That's where we need to start the letter. Let's put our finger on it. Are you ready? We're going to go down, up, down, under the line and flick. Let's try that again. Can you put your finger on the green dot? We're going to keep our pencil on the whole time today. Down, up, down, under the line and flick. I think we might be ready to write this now. Let's put our piece of paper in front of us. Make sure we've got a good writing position with our chairs tucked in. Okay, pick up your pencil and put it in the middle of two lines on your piece of paper. Are you ready to make this long ladder letter with me? Let's go down, up, down, under the line and flip. Is your Y descending under the line? Is the belly of the line, the Y sat on the line? Brilliant. Well, pause the video and see if you can do some more and then click play when you've mastered it. We're going to read some Y words now. Can you see the word at the top? I was adding my sound buttons and I spotted something in the middle of the word. What did I spot? It's the digraph R. Let's sound out and blend the word together. Y, R, N, yarn. That's a picture of yarn. Yarn is a material that you might use for threading and knitting. I haven't added my sound buttons for the next word because I want to see if you can spot the digraph. Is it at the beginning, the middle or end of the word? Now you've got it. Let's sound and blend the word. Y, e, l, yell. Yell means to shout. Now, the word at the bottom is a challenge word. It's a polysyllabic word. Have you spotted something that's the same as the word that we've just read? Okay, that's a nice big clue, isn't it? Let's see if we can read the word. Y, e, l. Yell, i, ng, ing, yelling, yelling. The word is yelling. Can you see that I've added the suffix ing on the end of the word yell? I'm going to see if we can write some y words now. At the top, I have got a picture of a vegetable that you might not have ever seen before. It looks a little bit like a sweet potato, and this vegetable is called a yam. Let's stretch out the word yam. Y, a, m, yam. Let's put it on our phoning fingers. Y, a, m, yam. Can you write it down? Have you added your sound buttons? The next picture is a picture of a circular tent, isn't it? And we call that a yurt. Have you ever been camping before and stayed in a yurt? We're going to stretch out the word. I think there might be a digraph in this one. Y, yurt, yurt. And we're going to put it on our phoning fingers. Y, yurt. 
yurt. Yurt. Can you write it down? Did you hear the er in the middle? That's er for fur. Why not add your sound buttons and underline that digraph? The last picture is of a garden and another word for garden is yard. Can you stretch out this word, put it on your phoning fingers and then write it down? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. If you've already written yard, you might write farm yard. That's a different kind of garden, isn't it? If you're ready, we're going to keep going. If you're not ready for the answers yet, just click pause. Can you take or fix these answers? Yam has three letters. Y A M. Yurt has four. Y U R T. And did you get all of the letters for yard? It's got the R digraph in it, hasn't it? I wonder if any of you wrote farm yard. I've got a question for you to read now. How did I know this was a question? Yes, it's got a question mark at the end, hasn't it? Now, can you see any y words in this question? How many y's can you see? Can you count them? Did you see all three? Can you sound out and blend this question? Click pause and give yourself time to do that. But could you do it three times so that in the end you're reading it really fluently? Then click play. Let's read it together. Can a yak yap and yelp? Let's read it with prosody. That means we're going to be using our expressive voices, thinking about our tone. And because it's a question, we're going to make our voices go higher at the end. Can you read it with me? Can a yak yap and yelp? Hmm, what do you think? Can this yak yap and yelp? Thank you for joining me for another mastery lesson today. Well done. We now have a really good understanding of the sound yuh.